In this video, we're going to look at how to work out the average rate of change. At GCSE level, there's two different rates of change you might need to calculate. One of them is the instantaneous rate of change and also this one, the average rate of change. If you want to revise instantaneous rate of change, just go on Corporate Mavs and watch the video on that one. Okay, so the average rate of change between two points can be found by calculating the gradient of the cord that joins those two points. So let's have a look at three typical questions now. So here we've got a question, we've got a graph drawn and the question says estimate the average rate of change of y between x equals 3 and x equals 5. So let's first of all find those two points on the graph. So whenever x equals 3, we've got this coordinate, so the coordinate 3 minus 2. And also whenever x equals 5, so whenever x equals 5, y will equal 6, so that's the point 5, 6. Now, if we want to find the average rate of change, what we're going to do is we're going to join those two points up with a chord. So we're a line joining them up. So that chord. And we're going to work out the gradient of that line. Okay, and that will give us the average rate of change of y. So what we're going to do is we're going to use rise over run. So just making our right angle triangle. Just going to rub this out and give us a bit more room here. So we have got the point 3 minus 2. And we'll just join this into, uh, make this into a right angle triangle and work out the gradient of the chord. So the run is equal to two. The rise, because we've gone from three to five, the rise is equal to eight because we've gone from minus two up to six. So that's a rise of eight. And then so gradient is equal to rise over run. So eight divided by two is equal to four. So the average rate of change of y between x equals three and x equals five will be equal to four. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next example. So our next example says, Below is the velocity time graph of a particle over 12 seconds. So here we've got the velocity, uh, speed, velocity, uh, for the first 12 seconds of a journey. And the question says to work out the average acceleration. So acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, okay, over the first four seconds. So what we need to do is we need to work out the gradient of the chord over the first four seconds. So here we've got the point zero, zero. And at four seconds, we've got this point here, which would be equal to four and eight. We've gone up two, so it's gonna be going up by 0.4s, so it's gonna be 6.4, okay? So that's the point four, 6.4, and the point zero, zero. So if we wanna work out the average acceleration, we need to work out the average rate of change. And the average rate of change is found by working out the gradient of the chord between the two sort of specified points. So we'll just draw a chord between that point and that point, and we'll work out the gradient. So again, draw a little right angle triangle to work out the gradient. Our run will be from zero to four, so our run is four. Our rise would be from zero up to 6.4, so that's 6.4. So the gradient will be equal to rise over run, so rise over run, which would be equal to 6.4 over four, and that will give us an answer of 6.4 divided by four is equal to 1.6. So 1.6, now this is acceleration, we've got a context to this question, so we're gonna to have to give units, and the rate of change of uh, velocity in respect to time will be meters per second squared, okay? So acceleration is meters per second per second or meters per second squared, and they're the units for acceleration, and that's it. So if you're asked to work out the average acceleration between two particular, or between a certain duration of the journey, you just work out those, or find those two points on the graph, join them up with a chord and work out the gradient of that chord and make sure you're given the units for acceleration. Uh, that's gonna be meters per second squared or kilometers per hour squared or something like that. Okay, and our last example. Right, so our last example says, below is the depth of water in a container over six seconds. So if we look at this graph, it shows us that at uh, zero seconds when it begins, the container's got just over 12 centimeters of water in it. And by the time we get to six seconds, the container is now empty. And what so in other words, the water's just emptying out of this container. And the question says, estimate the average rate of change of depth of water between one second and six seconds. So at one second, the point here was one 
12. So at one second, there's 12 centimeters of water in the container. And at six seconds, it's six zero, that coordinate six zero, because at six seconds, it's empty. And we wanna find the average rate of change. So we're gonna join those points up and we're gonna find the gradient of this chord. So we'll join it up and we wanna find the gradient of that chord to find the average rate of change. So we'll make it into a right angle triangle which has a run of five and a rise of minus 12 because obviously it's going down. We're just going negative gradient. So we're gonna do rise over run, rise over run. So it will be minus 12 divided by five, which is equal to minus 2.4. So what that means is that the average rate of change of the depth of water is minus 2.4. Now we're doing the rise, which is centimeters divided by second. So it's going to be centimeters per second. It's the rate of change of the depth. So in other words, it's um, the containers are losing on average over this time, 2.4 centimeters of depth every second. And that's it. So the average rate of uh, average rate of change of depth of the container is minus 2.4 centimeters uh, per second. And that's between one second and six seconds. And that's it.